hello and welcome back to my channel and to another week of what's for dinner so we're starting off today with one of my favorite slow cooker spaghetti bolognese recipes now i don't put the mince in the slow cooker because i'm not keen on the texture but i do make the sauce in there and it's one of the easiest ways to do it that i've found so generally it's just a couple of tins of plum tomatoes some garlic powder tomato puree onion i put some thyme or mixed herbs this time round, I've added a beef stock cube and a red wine stock pot. I put a couple of squirts of tomato puree and half a teaspoon of sugar, a little bit of salt and pepper and some Worcestershire sauce. The exact recipe is in a couple of videos, I believe, that I've done, but I will see if I can link those down below. And I just chuck everything in, no pre-frying and leave it on low for at least six hours, eight if possible. At the end I just dry fry my mince and add that to it and then let that heat through while I cook my pasta. It comes out perfect every time and this time around I was using some extra lean pork mince and tagliatelle and then we topped it with a little bit of grated cheese. So to use up some of the gammon that we had left from last week, I decided to make some cheese and gammon croissants, I suppose. So I just grated some cheese over some open croissants and popped the gammon on top, then I popped them in the oven. It also managed to use up some of the Christmas cheese, which is good. These actually freeze really well, so you could fold them over, pop them in the freezer, and they only take about a minute in the microwave to defrost, and they're just a really nice quick breakfast if you're on the go. So for our next meal we had some tender stem broccoli with some salmon and some mashed potato. I parboiled the tender stem and then I popped it in the foil with the salmon just to give it some of the flavour. This salmon was actually topped with some red Thai curry paste that I found in the fridge and it gave it a really good flavour. I just steamed it in the oven for around 25 minutes and we served it with some mashed potato and it just came out really really nice. So for my next meal I had some of the Maggie instant noodles and I also had some chicken breast that needed using up. So I sliced up the chicken breast and decided to fry some vegetables. We've got some mushrooms, some onions and some red peppers. I boiled the noodles, they take about three minutes usually and I just popped my chicken in there because it was already cooked so it just needed to be heated all the way through. I added a few seasonings to the vegetables, some soy sauce, a little bit of Chinese five spice and some chili powder. Then I mixed all this together in one pan and added a handful of frozen peas and it came out really, really nicely. It was just one of those things that you throw together and you'll probably never make quite the same again, but it was just a really comforting, warming dinner. So for tonight's dinner, we are having chicken and halloumi wraps, but I've put the wraps underneath the bowls so that we can kind of assemble our own rather than me trying to make five lots of two or three or however many the boys end up eating. So you can all do their own. We've got halloumi, we've got tandoori chicken thighs that I've done in the air fryer. They take about 25 minutes, um, around 195 degrees. Just some salad, we've got some coleslaw and some tortilla chips. And that is what we're having for dinner tonight. So for dinner tonight we have got gammon that I've done on the tea fowl grill. We've got some hash browns and fried eggs. A nice simple one tonight. So if you know me, you will know I will often have a bagel for breakfast, usually topped with some roasted tomatoes, onions, grated cheese and some balsamic vinegar. So that's what I had on this day and Steve decided to turn his into a bagel toasted sandwich. So he added slices of bread to the bottom of the bagel and then put it in a toasty machine. And his reasoning was that the cheese wouldn't fall out through the hole in the middle of the bagel if he used bread to keep it in. So watch this space, you'll see them in all the major supermarkets from now on. So I'm just getting started on a chicken, kind of like a chicken pot pie. I have slow cooked a chicken, so it's been in here, I've just got the stock left in there. I've got two lots of pastry to use up, one's puff pastry and one's a short cross pastry. So I'm going to try and turn that into like a pie lid because there's like half of each. Um, I've got some potatoes to peel. I think we're gonna have mash or roast potatoes with it. I'm gonna use some cream of chicken soup. In here I've got some chopped carrots and onions. I'm gonna add some peas, and then I'm gonna mix my chicken stock from the slow cooker in with the condensed chicken soup, and mix all the shredded chicken into it. Put this in, put the peas in, and then make a really nice thick sort of white chicken mixture and then I'm going to lay the pastry over the top and I'm going to have it with some tender stem broccoli I think, straight carrot, so, yeah. So I shredded my chicken and I've added my stock that it was cooked in, 
into the pan. I've put my carrots and onions in there as well. And now I'm going to add my tin of soup and probably half a can of milk just to make it a bit thinner. And some seasoning, some salt, some pepper. Probably put some thyme in there. And I'm going to use two hands. And add some peas at the last minute. And then I'm going to put it in little individual dishes and try and create a top out of the two different pastries. So I've put the chicken mixture into separate bowls. So to my chicken soup, I added half a tin of milk. I put some frozen peas, added some onion granules, salt, pepper, some dried thyme. So just chopping the potatoes for mash. I also added um, some mustard powder and I think that was about it. So what I'm going to do now is top a couple of them with pastry with whatever I've got. And then we might have to put mash on top of a couple because we're just trying to use stuff up. So that is our base of our chicken pot pie. So here is our chicken pot pies out the oven. I've kind of labelled them so we know whose is whose. Even though the only one that's any different is Oscar's because his is just that little bit smaller. So we've got, I think this is short crust, short crust pastry with a puff pastry bee on the top, some mashed potatoes and some tender stem broccoli. I've got Oscar's there. Jake's one is here. He's going to have chips of his because he doesn't like mash. And we did end up topping two of them with mash and a little bit of grated cheese and some pepper and salt. <laughs> Steve put way too much pepper on his as usual, which was why we were laughing. And we also had some tender stem broccoli with this. So I had some minted lamb burgers that I defrosted and then I formed them into like lamb koftas. And I just served these in some wraps with some salad and some onion. We had some piri piri sauce and some extra light mayo. They don't look too appetizing, but this was so nice. I really recommend trying minted lamb formed in sausages put in wraps. We also served it with some of the microwave tilde Jamaican jerk rice and peas. And it had such a kick to it. It was really, really good. I highly recommend it. It takes two minutes in the microwave, but yeah, definitely very, very spicy. But it complemented the wraps really, really well. So another day, another bagel for breakfast. This one had roasted tomatoes, scrambled egg, and some smoked salmon Philadelphia spread on it. And lots and lots of cayenne pepper, which I always seem to go well over the top with. More wraps, and this time we had fajitas. These are the char-grilled wraps. I think they're the Mission ones, Mission Make. Um, really, really nice. Just simple fajitas. I thought I'd show you because I think they look really pretty in these wraps, actually. That's it for this video. I really hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please leave me a big thumbs up and make sure to subscribe if you're not already. And I will be back really, really soon with another video. Bye.